All right, so I know I've um, I've spoken quite effusively on this. I don't know if effusively is the right word, but quite extensively maybe is what I meant on the subject of isolation. But uh, in sort of revisiting it, under the, you know, the topic, the subject matter, whatever the fuck you want to call it, the umbrella, the heading, whatever that I'm working under now about balance is that, you know, isolation can be terrifying. And I I suppose I I speak on it As I guess there's there, there's two ways to look at isolation, and I I suppose this is the part that I've spoken about before. But whatever, it doesn't matter. You can isolate yourself from others, or you can feel isolated from others. Um, I've quite frankly done both in my life. But sometimes I think it's important, at least again, for me to isolate away so that I'm not letting outside influences affect how I feel about myself, whether, whether that comes to self-esteem, confidence, Appearance, whatever, what, what, how, however you want to, however one would use that. But then I also think that it's um, fuck. I already forgot which I was going pro or con on the initial one. But point being, like, if you try to push through. Isolation because you don't want to stay away from other people because you don't want them to influence you. Like that becomes a struggle in and of itself. But there's this conflict then. Because I don't want to see other people because I don't want them to influence me. In a negative way. But I shouldn't assume... that being around and communicating and socializing with other people is inherently negative. Like, I have to trust, you know, myself. So it's that, that boundary. It's like, but I also don't want to try to sort of assimilate. So like, yay, I love doing things like this when I don't. For example, I know I didn't, I didn't, I didn't give you an example, but like there are some things that some of my very good friends do that I would love to go and support them in doing that from a social aspect, from a whatever aspect, but that thing that they're doing, I just... It's not, it's not really for me. Um, And so I think that, um, I know everything I, I do and say when I record these are off the cuff, but this was like super off the cuff. This thought just popped into my head. After watching a, 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 an interview about it, and the word isolation got brought up, but like, you can't, no, let's back that up. I can't wholeheartedly just be like, yes, everything XYZ friend does is wonderful. Because then it feels disingenuous. Like, I'm super happy for them that they're doing it. 
But I deal with this even with my kid. And if he tells me shit, I'm like, yeah, no, I'll listen. And I'm glad you like talking about it. But I don't give a shit. It's not because I don't care about you. I care about my kid. I don't care about that particular video game boss that he's fighting. I know, I'm getting, again, off track. But I think, you know, you know going back to the, the, the concept of balance is feeling confident and speaking with others that like, yes, that is a thing I would enjoy doing. And, and again, also balance and isolation, whatever. But that's also a thing I wouldn't enjoy doing. And I'm not going to force myself to do it just to not isolate. I don't don't know that any of this makes any sense. I'm quite rambling at this point. I don't know. Figure it out. 